with Simon Michelle from Fig Security. Simon, good to see you. Now, we also, I also want to talk to you about the Fed basically sticking to the script. What did uh, bonds do? Uh, look, US yields obviously a little bit on the low side after that uh, low growth number we had uh, early in the week, and so they've recovered a bit of that, uh, moved up about four basis points. Uh, US 10 year around 2.32% at the moment. Yeah, so what are they, what did you make of, um, you know, their plan really? I mean, there was no surprise in that. Really, it was all about uh, whether the Fed was going to acknowledge this softer data and right. make an adjustment to that future interest rate um, expectations. And really what they did was they said, look, we're prepared to look through these softer data. You know, we're looking at the bigger picture. You know, we're seeing employment uh, quite comfortably. Inflation's getting up to the level they'd like it, around that 2%. So we might get a bit of a soft growth number. That's not going to impact our view on a further two interest rate increases. And so basically, as you mentioned at the top, uh, sticking to the script, uh, even uh, and looking through that softer data. Yeah, all right. Now, Aussie yields did follow the US yields up. We did, yeah. They moved up as well. And I think that was just obviously on the back of US moves also. Um, you know, in Australia, um, uh, we've had, uh, you know, a little bit of softer data coming through as well. And so really, I think, uh, you know, people have got a, a bit of a, a leg either side of the fence, really. Um, you know, it was interesting to hear um, from the governor today talking about uh, impact, interest rates and, and, and the housing uh, cycle at the moment. Uh, one of the things he said was people aren't pulling equity out of their, their homes like they did in the last boom. That's a, a positive thing. And he said that he's really uh, would like to see, you know, housing prices and, and uh, debt move at the same level as, as wages growth. And as you mentioned earlier, we're not getting any wages growth. So definitely some, some areas there that the RBA is going to be real fo really focused on. Yeah, and what are you expecting from the statement of monetary policy tomorrow? Look, I think it'll be status quo. You know, I don't think the RBA really wants to prepare our market for any significant move in rates. And I think one of the key drivers there, Helen, is, is the Fed sticking to its plan. The higher US rates go, uh, the, 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 you know, the more the RBA can sort of sit back and relax. Because yeah. on a comparative basis, ours become less attractive. Um, and that's certainly what they'd want to see on a, on a global basis. So I think, you know, if the Fed sticks to that, um, for further two increases this year, the, the RBA, I think, will be very comfortable. All right. Now, just Aussie is issuance, uh, briefly, Asiano. Asiano, yeah, freight operator here in Australia, investment grade issuer. They're looking to do a 10-year fixed and possibly floating as well, uh, indicative around 5.5%. They've had very strong demand, about two times demand for the indicative 200 million they're doing, and we should have a bond available in a couple of days, so another good uh, Aussie issuer. All right, Simon Michelle from Fig Securities, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Helen. That's it from me for.